All right, so today we are getting our piping run underground for the gas, water, and electric. So they're boring underground, that way we don't have to dig anything up. And it's a pretty cool process. That's a drill right there. And it's basically gonna drill from there all the way to the house. And there's Adam, so he's locating the uh, drill head there. He's guiding it on where to go. So that'll drill through the ground. And then you can take and pull all the pipe that's in the basement right now all the way back out to there and we can run our gas, water, and electric. So it's right below the zucchini plant right now. <laughs> Adam's my brother-in-law, my sister Jennifer's husband. They have their very own business. You want to say hi, Adam? <laughs> and he's doing us a solid here. Yep. It's called Adam Underground. So can you tell everyone a little bit about what you do? Directional boring, trenching, plowing, light pole bases, pretty much everything. Specialized mostly in directional boring. So, uh, yeah, today just putting the power in, water, and a gas line. Perfect. Greenhouse. So, this is the way to do it if you can. Right, you know, so you don't have to you don't rip have to tear everything, everything up. up. And you can just drill right into the basement. And that works pretty good. It works real good, actually. So right now we are in our impressive basement here. <laughs> this is how my basement is for my, my <laughs> Well, we got all kinds of rummage sale stuff ready, but no rummage sale on the books yet. <laughs> all right, Kyle, you're good to go. Ooh, this will be cool. Mm -hmm. So where is it gonna come in? So it'll come in, because we're here, so five feet down. So it'll be right about, like right about here is where it'll actually come in. <laughs> Hey, no water either. Well, maybe it'll come in after he pulls it out, but. All What's right. The of the head so all the way through. But you can rotate if you want a little. That's probably good right there. That's good. You can shut it down. You can see how hot That's it is. That's crazy. Look at the, look at the. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah, it like melted. You know uh, what, you guys? That must have been hitting some really hard rebar. Because look at how that like caught up. Right, and it's all like burnt there yeah. too. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> no <laughs> that probably it's like, toasty. it'll melt your hand. This pulls it through? Yeah, we just got everything hooked up and now we're just gonna pull it all through. Once he gets up on the drill, we'll awesome. retract and the we'll head. Take it backwards, the exact reverse steps that we got out. You ready? Yep, Taylor, we're good to go. I'll take it back real fast. No, I'm joking. Go, take it slow. Don't rotate yet. Here we go. So when it starts to go, all you gotta do is go like this. Oh, okay. And then it'll just slowly feed in. So gotcha. I'll do the same thing with these two. Okay. All right, you think you can go on. Crank it up. <laughs> Looks like my dad came to visit. You can't stay away from hard work, can you? <laughs> Kyle's down there getting dirty. <laughs> Here's my sister Jennifer checking up on her husband. So that went into your basement, right? Yeah.
Well, it's our early morning here in Wisconsin and we have been having some very, very cold mornings. So it's pretty crazy because today's August 1st. Um, we must just be going through a little cold spell here, but during the day it's, you know, upper 70s. So it's been perfect weather for gardening. Um, we always go through these different weather changes, but look at all of this morning dew we are getting. This is crazy to see. Even on this beautiful ornamental banana plant, look at So unique looking. And whenever there's a lot of dew in the morning, I don't really like to go ahead and water right away. In the areas where there's sun, the dew is already dried. So that's where I'll start watering for the morning. Got my cup of coffee. I like to walk the gardens and take a look at everything first. And Jason's always out here the earliest these days because he is getting the greenhouse built. So let's go take a look at what he's doing this morning. First, I just wanna show you how cute this little wagon looks with all little cut flowers on it. I just love it. It's not one you can actually ride in, it's just so it looks pretty, but we use it as an outdoor coffee table. Morning. Morning. Ooh. These things are so hard to get in. All right, back at it again this morning. So now, um, and hon, watch out behind you for the big hole. <laughs> um, so we got all the clamps and everything on. Um, we're getting the last uh, missing rafter today. It's coming this morning. Um, awesome. But now I've got to drill these uh, screws through uh, this part of the clamp and this part. And it's just, it's hard trying to screw these things into steel. So, uh, especially these ones up high, it's hard to get um, the force Shouldn't you be wearing safety goggles? Um, Cause you could get yeah, like metal shavings be. in your eyes. I just had some hit my neck. Yeah. It would hurt worse if it was in your eye. Yeah. Right after I put this one in here. That's this, all it takes though is one's one. Already, this one's already in. I got no more uh, metal shavings here. So. Okay. All right. Safety glasses. Yep. That's what that's what I'm here for. It burned my neck. I'm OSHA. <laughs> OSHA. I'm getting a compliance ticket from you. This is the uh, hole Jason was talking about. We left the hole here. Um, they didn't cover it up because my dad suggested that we add styrofoam in there for additional protection against the cold weather here. Just in case there ever happens to be a year where we say, hey, we don't want to heat the greenhouse. We don't want to keep it going in the winter or at least not all winter. So there's going to be a couple months where we don't have heat. And my dad just said, you know, so if you do that, you at least are protected them by having styrofoam in there. Right, yeah, because one of, one of these is a, uh, a water line. So that's the one that you want to make sure doesn't ever freeze, because if it does, it'll expand and burst, and then you've got a problem. Well, thanks for taking them. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> See ya. Yep, this is how our summer days and nights are oh, around yeah. here. Everyone's yep. popping in and going for rides and hanging it's out. Beautiful out here tonight. So what kind are these ones, hon? These are the ever-bearing strawberries. <clears throat> I tried so there's, that some, there's some little guys ready here. So these are fresh plantings this, this you year. Everbearings produce all season long. I gotta say, so my favorite thing, um, harvest-wise, food-wise, out of the garden this year was when we got all the strawberries and coming out here and just gorging myself with strawberries. <laughs> oh. Jason had a natural red mustache for a month. <laughs> 
Ooh, this one's yeah. a big one over here. Look at, they want that berry. They want it. What happened? Oh, there's another big one here. He didn't want to give it up. Look I at. I did not. <laughs> Being selfish. Absolutely not. <laughs> I see one here. That's the one I saw first. You can have this one, Mama. So with ever uh -oh. strawberries, like I was saying, they produce all season long as long as you pick them. Right, girls? Mm -hmm. And this is their first year. So their first year, they don't produce as many as they will next year because next year there will be more. If you notice with this coming off of here, that's what we call strawberry shoots. Mm. Or strawberry shoots. Yeah, they're just starting to Look at, this is what I was saying. The These are strawberry shoots right there see Why? because the plant which is right here shoots off these new growths oh. and then those root into the ground there this right here is a whole nother strawberry plant Daddy, can put this and that's what they just keep doing all over up. see over there too Wait, Lana. Big. see that oh, no, yeah you'll yep it. No, and well, that's how they multiply big. in the garden okay. so how are those berries I ate um, a colored one and then taste good. I'll be right back. Good. Are they super sweet? Look, I'm though. balancing. <laughs> oh, be careful. <laughs> be careful. As long as she's not in detention. These sunflowers look so cool with the sun behind them. Kind of. They do. The sun's glowing through the uh, the petals. and. Yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, it They're is. They're amazing. Love it. Yep. Oh, it looks yeah. so amazing. Doesn't that look cool? Yes. Yeah. Well, we harvested some goodies tonight. We've got some cauliflower and pickles. It's looking really good. So what we're going to do is put the pickles directly and the cucumbers. Forgot about those guys. We're going to put those guys directly into the fridge. But with the cauliflower, I'm going to go ahead and soak them first because we may have some worms on there. I've been seeing a lot of those white little butterflies. And that's what they do, even though they're pretty and they're fun to watch in the garden. They're the ones laying those eggs and worms in there. So um, we're going to just rinse those first. So what we do, Jason's unloading the dishwasher. Yep, room in the sink. Look at what a nice man. What a <laughs> nice man. <laughs> Little do you guys know I just got done yelling at him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nope. He scolded me real good. <laughs> nope, he did that on his own. So we put really cold water in there, which it's filled up nice enough. And I dump quite a bit of baking soda and mixed it with my hand. And then I just let these soak in here for, I don't know, I'd say about 20 minutes just to really kind of freeze them out of there. These got a little overripe because you can tell like the formation when they start popping up, but that's okay. Place those in there. There we go. All right. Thanks, son. Okay, no problem. I got my cup ready to go for tomorrow morning. This is what I like to uh, drink my coffee out of now. Yeah, his Casey favorite. Thinks it's weird. His but... favorite princess is Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> Well, please don't mind our mess, but. No, <gasps> She's awesome! Has she been good in school today? Can you show me your classroom? The girls are playing school. They feel so inspired after going school shopping today. So, here's our school shopping. So, this is our school. This is Sam's table. Oh, well, little stuff. Close school. my books, close my caps. Her blush and chapstick? The two most important supplies in school? <laughs> mm, tastes like fruit. Like fruit? Yeah. When you get them a new notebook and let them pick out their own little notebook, it really inspires them to want to write more, want to draw more. Um, you know, it's just better than iPads and stuff. Yep, they're definitely playing right now. <laughs> I love when they play school. I know, it's so cute. La, Sayla's being such a good little student. Yeah. It is cute. She's a better like student than she is a little sister sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because then they don't fight and argue. Yeah. And Lana's a good little teacher. She is, yeah. She loves playing the uh, authoritative figure whenever they're playing. Oh, yeah, that's why it works out great. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I'm really surprised, but I am not seeing any worms in the water or on the cauliflower. And I have been seeing those butterflies going nuts all over these. So maybe I'm harvesting them and cleaning them just in time. I mean, once I cut them, I'm gonna go through them like really thoroughly because that always grosses me out. <laughs> What's going right. on in well, here? I just picked Sayla up from school. She got her report card. She's got straight A's. She was so good! And I earned an earring. She earned an earring. Wow. Uh, whoever's the best gets to earn anything. Have you guys shown everyone how your kitchen looks now? No. <gasps> you haven't? Me and Jason built this kitchen for the and girls. Family. Yep, so we built this kitchen for the girls. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, in our Christmas video in the Just Life series, we showed uh, Jason and I giving the girls the brand new kitchen that we made out of an entertainment center and an Ikea wardrobe. And since then, it's come along very far because we added a range hood and a little um, house frame around it and painted around it, add some shelving, a lot of cool stuff, right Lana? Woo! It's awesome because I clean this whole thing. Yep, she cleans it all the time. <laughs> These are just bamboo hot pads on Amazon for really inexpensive. Oh my gosh, they're awesome! Yep, and they look like real! They do, don't they? Even these look real. Yep, so these are on Amazon. I think it was like a set of four for three yeah, bucks. But... Yep. It breaks the off. sink, we just used a lasagna dish and it mm -hmm. has like sides like this so it fits in nice. Jason just cut a square and the opening. Sink can move. Yep, so we got the sink, it was, or the faucet. It was a used faucet on Amazon for $10. Oh my uh, gosh, so, it looks like a real sink. Oh yeah. yeah. But the kids have so much fun with it all the time. They're always making us breakfast in here, yep. so. They love it. Mm -hmm. We built this kitchen. <laughs> I can't believe that you did we that. We built this kitchen on. We built it! What did we. What did... Amazon! <laughs> we built this kitchen. <laughs> we built this kitchen and don't forget Ikea. <laughs> when you. When I was in the other room and I first heard you say, we built this kitchen, that's immediately what popped into my house and I started singing to myself, we built this kitchen. Yeah, well, that's why we're married. 